it has got to stop. And this Second Amendment that we embrace at the expense of violence against kids and all of us, this should not take place. Mick, and it does Mick, take before place. we get to the congressman. I actually agree with Scott. It is a culture of violence. The Second Amendment is not the reason we have a culture of violence. It's a breakdown in the rest of the culture, but we'll have that conversation. Have that conversation Pass later. Come on in, uh, Congressman Mark Alford. He is from Missouri and joins us live here on the Hill. Congressman, if I jump in, it is uh, not because I'm trying to be rude, but because we are expecting this police press conference here at any moment. This is uh, your backyard. You live in the area, and I wonder what's going through your mind, sir. Well, look, I anchored the news there for the Next Star Station, in fact, for 25 years. I was at Union mm -hmm. Station a lot, was just there last week. My uh, daughter and son were at the parade. Uh, they left before the mm -hmm. shooting occurred. It's a sad day for Kansas City. Uh, this was uh, supposed to be a day to celebrate. And it's still uh, today we are mourning the loss of, of one person and others injured. This was a, some two-mile route that ended at Union Station, which is basically the town square now for Kansas City. We, all of our celebrations take place there. The, in mm -hmm. 2015, the celebration for the Royals. Last year, I was there with Emmanuel Cleaver and Sharice Davis for the parade that ended right there at Union Station. Um, this year, it ended in tragedy. And, and my heart just goes out uh, to that community. And, and for, yes, it is a human violence problem. How do you solve that? That's a great question. Your, your family was there, you said? Yes, my daughter and son, we're all big Chiefs fans. Uh, we watched well, the game together. I was going to be in the parade, but we came back to uh, do our work here in Washington today. Uh, we just had a moment of silence on the floor. Uh, Representative Cleaver, who represents the 5th District there in Kansas City. I'm just south of there in the 4th Congressional District. Sharice Davis from the 3rd District of Kansas and Ann Wagner from the St. Louis area. All all together showing um, our respect for the victims and for law enforcement. Yeah, so, since you're from the area, have you heard, have you gotten any information that hasn't been necessarily put out there publicly that you can share anything on the law enforcement as aspect of this, uh, wh whatever you, you might know? No, I do know that the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department has been training for this. If you look online, you can see the videos they put out this morning, a pep talk by the the new chief, Stacy Graves, who's a wonderful person, used to run the communications department for the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, and is now the chief, very well-respected chief. Uh, it was a call to arms for the men and women in blue to protect the citizens of Kansas City. And look, this is a two-mile route with many, many intersections that end at this, this wonderful place with fountains and Union Station and the Liberty War Memorial. You've got a million people packed into this, basically a punch bowl. Uh, it is impossible to secure that area. You cannot run a million people through metal detectors to get in there to celebrate a chief's victory. Congressman Alford, we will leave it there. Glad to hear that, that your family is safe. You're obviously, it looks like, back here in Washington. Congressman Mark Alford, appreciate the time, sir. Thank you, Blake. Um, you know, we, we, again, continue to watch and wait for the police department there in Kansas City to give us the very latest. Expecting a news conference here at any moment. At any moment, what would you say to the congressman there, Scott? Um, prayer is always helpful, but I'm tired of being tired of listening to politicians and our leaders talk about too many guns on the street or not enough protection, mental health. We have to do something about it because. This is, Amer our, for violence like this, mass shootings, are part of American culture. Here's a question, Mick. Why are we the only country that has a mass shooting problem in the Western world, third world? We have a mass shooting problem where it is now part of our American culture. And shouldn't we be doing everything humanly possible, whether it's gun control, whether it's getting rid of assault weapons, whether it's reducing gang violence or mental health, whatever, shouldn't we be doing everything? Would, would, you, would you say Second like, Amendment or not, would, everything would, no, not, to it, stop it, this? And that's, and that's where you lose so many people in this country when you say Second Amendment or not. There are too many guns on the street, and it's too easy to get guns. Let's say I and agree guns kill people, okay, I don't, and people let, using say, guns kill people. Let's say I don't, I, I don't agree with you, but let's say that I do. Mm -hmm. The Constitution tells us how to fix this. 
which if you don't like the Second Amendment, you go change it. If you're right and everybody agrees with what you just said, I don't think they do, but if they did, you could change the Second Amendment through the amendment process. We're too lazy to do that. We want politicians to do okay. it. We want courts to do it for us. If it's really this groundswell of support against handguns for sake of this discussion, let's put it to the test. Thank you for watching, and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.